Hello, and welcome to Mircom's online tutorials. Today we'll be talking about the DSPL 42016 TZDS main display. We'll go over some features and benefits, as well as how to add the DSPL 42016 TZDS to your job file. The DSPL 42016 TZDS comes equipped with a 4x20 LCD display with an additional 16 LED zones for enunciation while still maintaining the same footprint as our standard DSPL 420 main display. The DSPL 42016 TZDS can be purchased in two ways. It can either be purchased on its own to take advantage of the additional 16 LED zones of enunciation with the part number DSPL 42016 TZDS, or it can also be purchased as a kit which consists of an FX2003 chassis, an FX2000 mainboard, and also a 6 amp power supply. It also consists of a dead front with a pre-installed DSPL 42016 TZDS under the part number FX2003 6DS16 LED. Both of these products are a great option for when you need less than 16 LED zones of enunciation at an economical price. The DSPL 42016 TZDS is compatible with the following versions and revisions. It is compatible with the FX2000 main panel firmware version 2, 14, 6 and up, configurator version 2, 3, 30 and up, and hardware revision revision Z and up. If you choose to use either the DSPL 42016 TZDS or the FX2003 6DS16 LED, You'll have to default the main display in the FX2000 configuration software in order to align the switch and LED index numbers to their new locations on the main display. When using the DSPL 42016 TZDS, it is good practice to default the display prior to making any changes or correlations to the switches and LEDs. If however you have made changes where you are adding the DSPL 42016 TZDS to an existing job, you will want to take note of any current correlations to the switches and LEDs and then default the display. Once you have defaulted the display, you will want to check each of your switches and LEDs to make sure any previous correlations have not been changed or deleted. If any previous correlations have been changed or deleted, simply recorrelate them as needed. Next, we will show you how to add the DSPL 42016 TZDS to your job file. We can start by expanding main display by clicking on the addition symbol to the left of it. Hover your cursor over base control enunciator, right click, and choose reset classic default. A window will appear stating that any previously programmed LEDs or switches might become inoperative. Click on yes to continue. You'll notice that the index number assignments shuffle around to accommodate for the new switch and LED locations. Please note, if you have previously added any correlations to any of the switches or LEDs, you'll want to review them to make sure that any correlations have not been changed or deleted. If they have been changed or deleted, simply recorrelate them as needed. You can see here the DSPL 42016 TZDS with the index numbers listed for each of the switch and LED locations. Thank you for watching Mercom's online tutorial on the DSPL 42016 TZDS and FX2003 6DS16 LED. If you have any other questions, feel free to view the rest of our online tutorial library at www.mercom.com. Or if you need further information, feel free to contact technical support by phone at 1-888-MERICOM5 or via email at techsupport at maricomgroup.com.